Well, we have been covering the issue of access to broadband in Western New York for nearly a year. Now, one of the barriers is the so-called broadband tax. We told you about that last week and the push to repeal it. As two on your sides, Nate Benson explains that repeal is gaining more support. I can't think of a more out of touch, obtuse tax. And there's a lot of them. But this one really is galling to me. That was New York State Senate Minority Leader Rob Ort last week announcing a push to repeal the so-called broadband fiber tax. Ort and other lawmakers claim the tax is slowing down and hindering broadband development in rural New York. The tax is really in addition to the state consolidated highway law that allows the DOT to add fees for any broadband project. It was an, an increased tax uh, for people who wanted to bring rural broadband uh, uh, for the, during the approval process. And we are here today to ask New York State De Senate Democrats, Assembly Democrats, to repeal that tax. And the push to repeal the so-called tax now appears to have support from the majority leader in the state assembly. Two on your side has exclusively confirmed that the assembly minority leader, Crystal People Stokes, is looking at the issue. In a statement provided to WGRZ, she said, quote, Based on some of what I read, it seems the state's broadband grant program is not meeting the needs of the entire state. Where the grants aren't being awarded, rural areas are more impacted by the right-of-way fee because it's asserted by the foot. I questioned her office a little further, asking to clarify specifically if the assembly leader is in favor of repealing the tax. Her office replied with, the majority leader is for making sure rural areas get broadband. If the so-called broadband tax is a hindrance for rural development, then it's safe to say, based on her statement, that the assembly leader is in favor of repealing it. And broadband development has been impacted by the addition of this state highway law. Cross Lake Fiber is currently suing the state DOT over increased fees that resulted in a delayed broadband project. With the latest development and the way Albany works, it seems the only other hurdle is getting the Senate majority on board with the repeal. Reporting in Buffalo, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.